Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about how to find legitimate work from home jobs that aren't scams, especially if you deal with social anxiety or depression or something that keeps you from being able to work a normal nine to five job outside the home. And you know, a little bit of background, I have struggled with social anxiety that has limited my ability to work outside the home for about seven years now. And, you know, this video has been highly requested because for the past couple of years, I've been working from home with real jobs. And I get so many comments and so many emails, people, you know, struggling and they're saying, I've been looking for jobs and I, I just have such a hard time finding anything. Can you tell me where you work? Can you give me some tips? And so I'm finally ready and I feel like I have enough good tips to um, hopefully be helpful to someone in this video. Uh, I scoured Google before I started just to make sure I wasn't going to recycle some garbage from, from Google or whatever. Um, and it's shocking how little information you can find on just finding work from home jobs, tips and stuff like that. So there's so many scams. Um, people like to keep this kind of thing a secret. And I can understand that. I mean, people who work from home and people who find these jobs, they, they don't want everyone working from home or there's going to be a lot of competition. It's going to be hard to find a job. Um, but I feel like it's important because I know what it's like to struggle, uh, you know, and and to maybe want to work or feel like you're recovering but just not being able to do certain things. Um, so that's where I started. And I couldn't find a lot of a lot of help on Google, so I, I just kind of went it alone. And, and uh, I actually have found several legitimate uh, work-from-home jobs that have paid me a real salary, a good salary that I could live on. Um, you know, and it is possible, but it does take research and it does take hard work, but it is possible. So um, where I started was basically thinking about, you know, what what my skills were and what, you know, I could do best, you know, and admittedly, there are a lot of things that I don't know and I haven't gone to college, so I don't have a degree, but, you know, you're watching this video right now, so you know how social media works. You probably have a YouTube channel. Chances are you have Facebook and Twitter and maybe you have Google+. Plus. Maybe you have Pinterest. Maybe you have email. <laughs> you know, what, what a thought. But it's like, okay, you know, you search for this video. You might have seen me in your feed or you might have used um, keywords like work from home or um, anxiety or, or jobs, you know, something like that. So obviously, if you're watching this video, you kind of know how social media works. And that's where my mind went to. I was like, you know, I might not be good at a lot of things, but I am definitely good at social media. I know how to um, email people. <laughs> I know how to chat online. I know how Google Analytics works. I know about keyword, keywords. I know about tagging. I know about search engine optimization. I know about a lot of things just because I've blogged. I've managed my own uh, Facebook page. I manage my own YouTube channel. I upload videos, etc. So it's like, okay, those are relevant skills because if you think about it, a lot of companies Okay, mostly every company, even small, you know, mom and pop shops have a Facebook page or a Twitter, or some even have YouTube channels, etc. Tumblr pages. It's like everyone's on social media and somebody has the job to sit there and reply to people or to post or to, you know, moderate comments. It's like someone has that job. If you tweet to Starbucks and you say, damn, Starbucks, my pumpkin spice latte was excellent today. And they reply back to you and say, thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed it or whatever. Um, that's not Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks. That is some person who they've hired. It could be an intern, but chances are it could be someone who they actually have hired to manage social media. And I was like, how do you get that job? Um, how does someone just get that job? So my first real tip here, and it's going to be kind of the biggest one, is um, I started on Craigslist. And before you roll your eyes or, or close this video, uh, let me just state my case for Craigslist. There are a lot of scams on Craigslist, a ton. You can um, you know, be swindled out of all your money if you're an idiot in about five minutes on Craigslist, or you can work for a long time and not get paid. Um, there are many, many scams on there. 
So um, you have to know how to work it. You have to know how to use it and some of the things to search for if you're looking for an at-home job. And I think that's where my skills really have excelled in the past couple of years because I've actually found two out of three of my at-home jobs that were legitimate and paid the most on Craigslist. But one of the things that you have to keep in mind and this may be common knowledge to you, but it wasn't to me at first. If you're looking for an at-home job, something you can work remotely from anywhere, um, you don't have to look in your local Craigslist. I live in a medium-sized city, but there was nothing for me in my local Craigslist. And I'm like, okay, if I want to work from home, why can't I just search, for example, the Los Angeles Craigslist? Um, if you live overseas, um, Craigslist if you don't have it or if you can't use it. It's basically like a community bulletin board where you can post, you know, apartments, jobs, personals, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think the UK has one called Gumtree. Could be wrong. I think I heard that on a commercial over there. Uh, but you, you get the gist. Anyway, um, so I was like, I'm going to search in big cities, you know, Los Angeles, New York, um, Seattle, not where I live, but but bigger cities because there's so many more postings there. There's so many more resources and opportunities. And if you're working from home and if the company allows you to work from home, then what's the difference? You know, so that's my biggest thing is I don't search in my local Craigslist. I look everywhere. If I can't find something in, you know, Los Angeles Craigslist, I'll look in San Francisco. I'll look in Seattle. I'll look in London. I'll look anywhere, you know, because they actually have different you know, job postings for everywhere. Um, you can look by keyword or you can just definitely Google um, Craigslist and then the city of your choice. So either way is fine, keywords or just Googling. Um, so what you need to do is you may notice on Craigslist that there is a button that you can click when you search for jobs that says telecommuting. And that those basically bring up jobs that are guaranteed to let you work from home. But a lot of those jobs are sales jobs or telephone jobs. If you're fine with that, then by all means, search that. But if you are not okay with that, um, you know, telecommuting is such an outdated phrase. A lot of places now, they just post in the regular job listings and they post the keywords remote or work from home or contractor or Things like that, you know, and so you want to make sure to look um, in the regular job postings, not just the telecommuting job postings. Um, if you're looking for a social media type job, I would recommend typing in social media. You can click the intern checkmark button or you cannot. It's up to you. Um, and then go through those. One thing I wanted to point out was a lot of them that come up are internships. So you want to put the, the minus sign and then put intern or internships um, with the minus sign before it because that will take it out of your search results. Um, you just want to be mindful because a lot of those only give college credits. Good for if you're a student, bad if you're just looking you know, for a steady job. Um, so you don't just have to search social media. You can search um, by what your preference is, whether it's customer service or um, email chat or um, phone customer service, or you can even search by YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google, etc. cetera. Um, keywords are so important and you wanna make sure to go through all of them. Um, okay, so, so those are some of my tips for Craigslist. Um, just, you know, be mindful that you can do broad searches. And I think one of the big things is a lot of times on Craigslist, you have to submit a resume. Now, I'm not going to talk that much, or if you're in another country, oftentimes that's called a CV. And um, I can't give you all the examples for that, but I am writing a blog to go along with this video. So if you want actual examples on um, how to write a resume, a functional resume that doesn't necessarily have to list your job history, especially if you're like me and you didn't, you had big gaps in your employment history or kind of a spotty employment history. Um, I found out a way around that. So I'm going to put examples in my blog so you can definitely check that out. Um, I would talk about it more here, but I have to get on to other things. Um, okay. So let's see, I have something written down. So I'm just going to like glance over here every once in a while. Um, okay. So if social media is not for you. If you're like, I don't want to tweet to people. I don't want to, um, manage a Facebook page or a YouTube channel. Um, you can 
Uh, look for customer service at home jobs. And I can't tell you how many big legitimate companies are now um, offering work from home programs. Uh, even ones that you might have never heard of. One of the ones that I actually have worked for and that I know is a legitimate company that has a work from home program is Amazon.com. Now that is not the only company that does that and I will list some more resources in my blog but it's the one that I can specifically attest to. Um, having gotten a job, a work from home job with Amazon.com. Some of these are seasonal, some of these aren't, but you have to just note that a lot of these um, require you to do customer service over the phone, um, sometimes chat, sometimes email, but you have to be comfortable in, in some way uh, communicating with people you know, and providing them customer service and, and following the rules and a strict schedule. A lot of social media jobs, you don't actually have to follow a strict schedule or guidelines, but you definitely, um, with other jobs, big companies like Amazon or 1-800-Flowers or PayPal, et cetera, jobs that you can do from home, um, customer service ones, it's very, you do have to stick to a schedule and you do have to interact with people and it is a bit more regimented. And sometimes that does cause me personally anxiety to talk on the phone, um, stuff like that. So you, you just want to take note of that. Um, a lot of websites don't at first advertise that they're hiring or um, that they have work from home programs, so you definitely want to Google, um, say like Amazon.com jobs. If you want to Google that, you can um, usually find resources to go to a page where they have their job postings. You can do that for any website um, because a lot of them don't necessarily just make it public knowledge. When you go to Amazon.com, you're not going to just see careers or jobs right there. So you have to do your research. You kind of have to be a little bit um, snaky and kind of filter through some things and and kind of um just feel it out you know and do your research that's that's important um i obviously worked um from from home doing customer service and i've also worked from home doing social media management i have worked as a youtube recruiter i'm work currently working as a youtube recruiter and i am um managing social media and doing outreach via email and whatnot so it's very suited to me because it's something that I know how to do. And I found several jobs like that that were really suited to me, things that I felt like I personally could do. And um, so I know the jobs are out there because I've gotten three different work from home jobs in the span of a couple years. And they've been jobs that give me a real paycheck, things that I can live on and things that you know, I can do from home that don't affect my anxiety so much, you know. Now, um, I will talk more in my blog um, about, I'll give links, I'll give um, specific resources, some examples for resumes, etc. cetera, um, because I know this video is really long and it's hard because you're probably not taking notes. So head on over, well, click down here um, to the more info and uh, you can click to go to any of my blogs, different links down there and um, check it out. I wanted to mention the very last thing is that, you know, for a long time, I wasn't able to work at all. Um, I was suffering um, from a disability and I was not able to work and I needed help and I was um, on benefits and there is nothing shameful or wrong about asking for help or not being able to work even an at home job, because even if you struggle with with social anxiety or depression, um, it doesn't mean just because there's a job at home that you're necessarily going to be able to do everything. And that's OK. It doesn't make you less of a person. I'm just in recovery now and there are certain things that I can do. So these are just tips for people who feel comfortable. But if you don't, um, either search until you find something that makes you comfortable or um, just wait until you feel better because no job honestly is worth your mental health and your well-being. Um, you have to focus on you as well. That's very important. Um, so with that, I'm going to stop this video now. You can feel free to ask me any questions you want in the comments. And if I get a lot of the same, you know, comments, maybe I'll make a follow up video or I'll address it in my blog. Feel free to leave comments there. I hope that this helped someone and maybe put you just on the right path to hopefully finding a legitimate at home job and gave you some resources just to push in the right direction. Um, so good luck to all of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.